Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Guys, uh, today I'm going to cover Protector for AngularJS tutorial part 2. And in this particular topic, I'm going to cover a couple of more uh, scenarios with respect to uh, Protector and a couple of other settings. Uh, I heard that, okay, some of the people, they are struggling that with respect to suggestions in Visual Studio Code and how to add the snippet for a specific a language in JavaScript, I mean, a specific technology or API in JavaScript in Visual Studio Code. And we will write one test case uh, also and then how to execute them. Uh, I'll show you those things and then uh, it will be very easy, guys. Don't worry. And first of all, like, thank you so much uh, uh, for liking this video. Uh, like, within 24 hours, 13, 26 views are there and a lot of people are appreciating. And uh, one suggestion I got that, okay, I have to increase the size. So definitely I'm going to increase the size uh, for uh, uh, Visual Studio Code as well. So let me know in case of any issues, guys, please, if you are not practicing, please practice this first with part one and then part two, then only jump to part two, step by step. Okay, so let's start. So let me uh, launch my Visual Studio. Uh, Visual Studio Code, I have already explained what exactly it is. And uh, let me... Uh, maximize it so let me remove this first uh, and in the last session we have seen that okay I hope this is good now so okay so in the last session we have seen that okay uh, how to create the project and what are different modules we have uh, uh, downloaded and what is package.json file different dependencies we have added for protector in Jasmine and in configure dot js file we have written that okay where exactly your selenium address and where are the specifications files are available and spec dot js we have created one test case now a lot of people are struggling that okay after clicking on buy dot we are not getting any proper uh, suggestion or something right um, buy dot model or buy dot id or all something like this so if you press buy dot we are not getting any buy dot id or something let's see i want to write here um, by dot id that's not there right id is not there so how to do that so to do this thing that guys what we have to do you have to add spatially protector snippet code in visual studio so how to do that just simple press command shift or control shift p and uh, just select this option extension install extensions and you will see that okay here you can add number of extensions over here so there are number of libraries are available let's see for angular js or javascript so we have to add a couple of libraries i have already added a couple of libraries uh, okay so which will be beneficial for you in future so let's see we will search for protector first so you can see that protector snippet so here you will get this i have already installed over here so let me uninstall it and then uh, so you will get so this option the moment you write protect the first full spelling protector you will get the okay, protector snippet 1.0.5 you just need to install it okay so just install uh, protector test runner also we will be using maybe in future so you can add this also so that is also fine and let's see for other application uh, angular v6 snippet also if you want to add i have already added javascript es6 code snippet also for javascript libraries you can add that library i have already added so that's why it's showing uninstall in your case it will be showing install option so just install these things npm support for vs code also you can uh, say that okay yes npm install and uh, this npm support for vs code also we don't need any beautify or other things these are for developers so we don't need that or uh, let me check do we have uh, jasmine so jasmine code snippet also we need so just add jasmine code snippet as well and uh, Let's see Jasmine ES5 code snippet also we can add. Okay. And later on, if it is needed, uh, we will see. We can add like for Grunt, Mocha or some other uh, uh, libraries also we can add. So just uh, simple. Okay. Reload it. And we do one thing that uh, come back to your project over here and just save it. Now, uh, Let's write one more, uh, uh, you know, one more test case and then we will see that uh, how exactly it is working. So this test case is getting ended over here. Let me remove these spaces and uh, 
okay so we will write one more test case same thing like now see if suggestions are coming automatically describe we have added angular js describe and what exactly you want to describe but describe is let's see um free crm title test right and uh, this is my function so i'll write function like this and uh, what exactly we will do we will add like this okay and uh, press tab so that we will start with it it again it's a function like this it let's see uh, get title test right comma function like this and then we will again use browser dot get and inside browser dot get what exactly we will do that we will launch our free crm application so here this particular test case will be executed separately on chrome it will launch this angular.js.org it will do this thing and then it will verify here we are going to launch a different website different uh, site let's see https or colon www.freecrm.com okay freecrm.com now what we have to do that uh, i'll get the title so how to get the title of the page so it's very simple so i'll write first expect this is my function what exactly that what you are expecting i'm expecting that browser dot okay get title browser dot get title and uh, browser dot get title it should equal to so dot i'll be using to equal equal to what so i'll pass that particular string what is the title so i'll go to uh, let me go to freecrm.com we will get the title over there so what is the title of this page so this is the title of this page so we will do one thing get the title from page source and uh, free crm this is the title and then i'll go to my visual studio code and then press semicolon like this okay and uh, yeah that's it so semicolon and uh, we will close this particular it how exactly simple like this and uh, then we will close this describe also uh, because it's like this because this describe is starting here and ending over here and this id is starting here and ending over here so first we will see that okay uh, quickly that uh, now we have written two test cases on a different browsers i mean uh, for the two web, web applications and we are saying that okay free crm title test get uh, let's see free crm title title let's see like this and then just launch the application and then get the you get the title and then check it so and then later i'll show you that okay how can we access buy.id and buy dot other thing as well and how to give those options and how to get auto suggestions like that there is there are some shortcuts so now we will do one thing that we will open terminal first we will save it so guys whenever you are writing something right the moment you edit this particular file this cross will convert it into dot can you see that this yellow uh, white color dot right white color dot means this file is not saved so what we have to do we have to press control s and then this cross is coming it means the file is saved now now i'll go to terminal and uh, we will go to uh, 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 there it is okay just a minute let's open the terminal then when we will run it okay and just a minute guys uh where is the terminal option integrated terminal sorry right so this is the option and then we will run the same file configure.js file spec.js is available over here and uh, let me run this with protector conf.js 
right spelling no spelling mistake and then press run it and now it is running and see the first time angular js application is getting opened it will be executed and then the second application is freecrm.com executed it will get the title and then it will verify it should close the browser now and uh, let's see what exactly is still running and i think now close the browser and uh, it's saying two specification one failure maybe uh, let's see what is the error in the second test case error while returning asynchronous script timeout result was not received in 11 seconds maybe some timeout issue because the script is, i mean the page is, is loading unnecessary so better we change the title better we change the some different url we will take let's see google.com which is we will handle the synchronization and everything later and google title we will write over here okay let's write we are expecting google.com and then we are expecting the title is google okay now let's run it again let's clear it and then protector js. so two time browser will be launched and then uh, see first time angular.js and uh, then google.com and then it should capture the google title and then let's see okay okay let's see oh it's, it's showing failure browser dot get title let me check why it is getting failed okay so with uh, google.com we do one thing guys uh, let's remove this google.com uh, because google.com is not angular.js application so better we do just like we do it over here we did it like angular.js.org we will be using uh, let's try uh, one more angular.js application so i have one angular.js application this is the url i'll show you this url it's very simple that uh, uh, let's launch this url you will see this url how will you get to know that this is angular.js uh, just let's just buy this you will see that okay ng model these tags are available so uh, we can practice later on we will practice on this particular uh, application for the multiple use cases like how to fill the form click on button or something so ng model is there it means this application is built up upon angular.js application so now let's do one thing that we will get the title of this particular page the title of page is this you can see let me get the title from the page source and uh, title is super calculator okay so we will add super calculator over here and then we will run two test cases with config.js file okay Later we will see uh, why it is not giving the title properly or something like that. And uh, so now both the test cases are running fine. Let me remove, I just I was just trying that page load timeout and implicitly wait also. Let me remove this. We will cover these topics properly later. Okay, so let's not get into page load timeout or implicitly wait or how to put explicitly wait in uh, protector and all such stuff. So uh, we will do it later. So it's a very simple test case. I have just launched browser.get and then getting the title it's equal to super calculator or not okay now we do one thing that uh, let's see we will enter something over here uh, in this particular application after launching this let's see i want to add something over here right so how to add that so to add this thing again we will be using uh, uh, by.ng model or something like this and then we will add send keys so let's do it So we just saw that okay, two test cases, both the test cases got passed, and uh, now we will do one thing that see that uh, after entering this and uh, checking the title, we want to enter something over here. Okay, so we will inspect and we will see that this is represented by ng model input tag is equal to first. So how to do that? So same thing, we will be using element. Just like we did that element by dot model but what is the shortcut to get this simple write element e okay ebm so if one suggestion will be there element by model just enter by by, by dot model this is the model name and dot send keys method and what exactly you want to pass let's say i'm passing uh i'm passing selenium okay so i'm passing selenium like this 
Now let's run and we will see that okay in this particular first field it should enter selenium. So let's run it. Initially it will be difficult to understand such uh, JavaScript code and everything guys. So now this is the second and it was so fast that we won't we didn't see that okay actually it is entering Naveen or not actually it entered and both the test cases got passed. So just like in Java we had uh, this thing uh, thread dot sleep right just thread dot sleep for two seconds or three seconds static weight we used to provide so here also we can give uh, the method um, let's see after super calculator how to provide the static weight so simply you have to write browser dot driver dot sleep and sleep for let's see for three seconds and after entering Naveen or after entering Selenium also, let's say I want to okay, wait for three seconds like this. So this is a static weight we have to provide driver, I mean, sorry, browser dot driver dot sleep. Three seconds, then enter Selenium and then wait for three seconds so that we can see it is actually entering Selenium or not. Okay, so let's run it. So it will launch your first AngularJS. We'll check everything over there. Hello, Tom. Fine. And wait for three seconds. Enter Naveen. Selenium sorry and wait for three seconds and then close the browser see actually it entered selenium over there right so this is how guys we uh, uh, get this thing make sure that okay you are adding proper snippets that I already explained and uh, these are the basic things that how to add send keys and everything and then how to get the shortcuts static weight how to execute two test cases which are having two different URLs and everything and both the things are AngularJS application right so this is the thing that uh, you can practice guys and in the next session i'll tell you some more other things that uh, how to click on a button or the, some other functions like how to check select the checkbox and everything those things we will be covered then synchronization is also a very very important protector what kind of asynchronous or synchronous calls will be there for angular js or non angular js application and uh, uh, there are n number of things uh, will be there just like selenium but we have to write in the form of protector in javascript okay so that's all for today and i hope you really like this particular uh, video and let me know if you have any issues even i'm searching a lot of things on google that uh, how exactly we can provide different things uh, with respect to protector but uh, yeah like uh, uh, you can watch this video first protector angular js tutorial part one then you will get to know how exactly okay it is working so that's all because uh, uh, from my side also i have to little prepare okay just to make sure that okay, i'm giving the best shot to you guys i have designed a couple of frameworks in protector but for teaching point of view very basic level i have to cover each and everything just like we covered in selenium right so this is what i want from my side that you can get that level of expertise okay from the beginning itself because protector most of the people how exactly they are learning here and there one topic from this side one topic from this side and then it is becoming garbage okay so there is no knowledge it's half knowledge so you won't be able to implement properly that's a problem with protector you have to understand from the beginning step by step right cool so that's all for today guys in this particular session thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any issues you can write your queries and comments in the comment section please subscribe to the channel my channel name is Naveen Automation Labs and uh, feel free to share this channel and videos to your friends and colleagues Thank you so much, guys.